Okay, we have uh, we had a little technical difficulty there uh, with our camera. Uh, we started out tying this fly on a size 12 94840 Mosted. Uh, for the tail, we used some uh, white calf tail stacked in the hair stacker. And uh, next, we're going to move on to our body. Take a, uh, take a small clump of uh, deer here and just do two wraps and just snip off. Give a, put a little bit of pressure and then hold it and flare it. Then you add your next clump. Give a little spin. And then just flare it up. Okay. Now we just take our whip finisher. Give it a little whip finish there. Now, if you have a good pair of uh, sitters. You can use them, okay, and just clip the body close, I like my bodies to be a little bit on the on the skinny side. Because they tend to, uh, with the with the smaller hackles, they tend to float a little bit better. Just clip this up and trim it up. I mean, it's up to you. Prefer use up to you how you uh, how you want it, of course. Then we just tie on our thread again at the high yolk. I tie on at the at the, at the high yolk because I do a what what I call a double wrap. Um, I go down, I go down the hook and come back up. I'll demonstrate that to you there now. Tie on at the head of the hook. Just make two or three wraps down. And then what I do, I crisscross over and double ackle that fly. Just put a little bit of extra ackle here in the front and tie it off. Then just pull the uh, you can clean that up to just clean it up a little bit there and uh, Start to form your head. Sometimes I like to leave uh, the ackles long there. Camera's having trouble focusing tonight. Just 
really blurry. Okay. Now when we get that done, you can uh, just take your whip finisher, give it a couple little whips like that. Cut it off, take your glue. Just dab some glue on that and you're done. There is the uh, brown bug. Very, very popular pattern here in Newfoundland. Especially for trout. Uh, this can be tied in a variety, a big variety of sizes, shapes, uh, aqua colors. Another good one is uh, another good color is the orange. Uh, orange, the orange bug. Uh, also, their adult forms, which I call the bombers. Uh, yeah, really very very effective for Atlantic salmon um, I double echo all my trout bugs personal preference due to the fact that uh, they will float higher in the water um, you put a drop of gink on, on that fly some dry fly floating and I'm going to tell you you're going to be in for some good fun uh, today I used the uh, mitts hackle. I find the barbicles are very, very uh, the stems or the flow of, of the hackles are very, very good for tying. Now guys, if you uh, while you're watching these videos. Uh, I'm not, as you can probably tell, I'm no uh, expert uh, when it comes to the video uh, section of uh, fly time. So if there's anything that you see uh, in the videos that uh, you think can improve uh, the videos themselves, besides the fact of getting a better camera, uh, don't be uh, afraid to uh, send me an email or uh, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. Again, my name is Rodney, and uh, this has been uh, another popular pattern again for me. I tell a lot of these, and I also <laughs> I go through a lot of them too. Summertime is. Uh, I, I prefer dry fly fishing over any other style of fishing. So again, leave me a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.